This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Navinia. Welcome back to Navin Automation Labs and uh, welcome back to JavaScript series. So in the previous video, guys, you were talking about uh, you know arrays concept, and, and I told you one method over here, right? That if you really want to find out a specific element where the objects are stored like that. Okay, I'll show you like this. In this particular array, objects are stored. So we have to use the find method over here, right? And then we have to create a function and course and everything like this. Course is dot name, and then we have to pass a particular variable, and then you can get a constant if this particular condition is satisfied. So this is quite lengthy, right? That this kind of code. So you can convert this code into a lambda function, into an arrow arrow function. So what you do, you simply write it like this: courses dot find element. Element is whatever element that this is like. You can write simple course also over here. So course, which is a okay arrow, getting the value from where from this particular function, course dot name. Okay, is equal to equal to a. So this is will behave like a function actually. This is an arrow function. Okay. So this will behave like an arrow function, and whatever the value it's coming, okay. If the course is uh, course name is equal to equal to a, this is just like that. Then return, okay. Then return something over here. So let's see, I'll return something I'll store in a uh, let's see C three variable over here, like that. So now this is equivalent. This entire code you can write in a very simple one line code like that. Courses dot find create a reference over here, create a variable. Lambda function courses dot name and this is a lambda function actually body over here. This is the method function body over here. Now the same thing you can print uh, C three and then you can print C three dot name and C three dot id like this. So this is just a quick thing I just wanted to tell you. If you are not comfortable with this, you can write it with the form okay help of lambda function as well. <laughs> okay, okay. So now today's topic we will talk about. How to uh, remove a specific element? How to do a slicing? How to make an empty array? Okay, small small things are there. So let me do one thing. That's uh, simple. I'll create uh, remove and empty array. Okay, dot js. So remove an empty array. So in the previous video, I told you that okay, there were three methods that uh, you can add at the end of the array, beginning of the array, and middle of the array. So end of the array, you can do that, and uh, uh, beginning of the array, you can do that, and then we have middle of the array also we can do that. But let's see, I have one array. I want to remove something. I create one array. Let's see, uh, once. Okay, sorry. A number is equal to arrow, and I simply write let's see one comma two comma three comma four. Simple array. I want to remove something from the end. So there, that time we were using what? There, were, that time we were using for adding. We were using push method, but here we have to use pop method. So you simply write num dot pop. That's it, right? So array name dot pop. So what exactly pop will do? Pop will return first of all remove the last element from an array and returns also. It means it will give you the last element of the array. And I'll store in a let's see uh, some variable name last is equal to this. And then what you do? You simply write console dot log and try to print number and uh, console dot now you try to print last. Now you see the output. I'll run it on my console, and uh, this time you will be using node. This now you see initial array was okay. This one two three. Now we are getting the last number got removed, right? Because of pop method, and then we are getting the last element also. So simple. If you really want to get the last element from a specific array, you simply use pop method. And store somewhere and then use it over here. So this is the end of the array. You can simply remove it. The last element you can remove from the end of the array. Now from the beginning of the array, what will you do? 
So from the beginning of the array, if you really want to add something that time we were using unshift method, but here now we have to use number dot shift method we have to use. So number dot shift, what exactly it will do? It's saying remove the first element from the array and returns also. So it, it is returning, so I'll store in a, a new variable, let's see first is equal to this. And then what I'll do, I'll print something like this. Let's see first. And uh, I'll print first number and first. Okay. And for time being, what I'll do is I'll just comment so that you can see the output properly. Now you let's see. So we run it, and now you see one is gone from this particular array. So we are getting only two, three, four, two, three, four. And the first value is so shift will return the first value <clears throat> and it will remove the first value also. So once it is returned, then I store inside this particular variable and then I print it on the console like that. So this is for the beginning of the array that you can simply do it. So I'm just commenting this line now once again. Now, how will you remove the specific element from the middle of the element? Right, middle of the element, how will you do that? So from the middle of the element, if you really want to do, uh, what we do, this is an array. Now let's see, middle of the element means, let's say I want to remove three, okay, from this particular array. So what will you do? The simple write number dot, same method, splice method you will be using. And then it's saying splice method means, uh, okay, so you simply use splice method and inside the splice method, what do you do? You simply pass, okay, total number of start number. Okay, let's see, I'll write one. I'll tell you what exactly I'm saying. I simply say, let's see, not one, I simply say two, comma, <coughs> how many elements you want to remove? I want to remove only one element. Okay, and what exactly your start? So my start is zero, one, and two. So I'll give the index of three, right? My target is to remove three. So I'm just giving index of three is two. And how many elements you want to remove? After two, just remove one. So what exactly it will do? It will start the counting from here and remove this guy. So this is zero, this is one, and this is two. So it will remove this guy, right? So let's see, splice is removing or not. So once this is done, I'll simply do console.log once again. I'll try to print it on the console. Now you see, three is gone here, right? So three is totally gone. So this is how the splice can be used for adding, okay? And splice can be used for deletion also, like that. <laughs> there is one more use of splice that, uh, let's see, I simply say that, uh, let me comment this. I simply say, that let's see num dot uh, splice you splice from two let's see okay then let's see what happens now you run it now see we are getting one and two only it means from second index you remove everything so this is zero this is one and this is two so it will remove three and four right it will remove three and four completely you can see so if you don't pass the second parameter it will remove all the values from there directly so you can use it like that as well. Okay, so this is remember spice method is used to deletion also from the middle of the middle of the array, right? So this is about uh, remove the array, okay, from a specific location, from okay, from the beginning, okay, from the end and from middle of the element. So I'm just commenting all these lines now once again. Now how to do uh, an empty array, okay? How to do an empty array? So for empty array, what exactly we will do that, there are four actually different ways we can do that. First of all, remember guys, whenever you're trying to empty this particular constant dumb array, the moment you write, the first way is, you simply write like this, declare a blank array. So blank array declaration, how will you do that? You simply write num, okay, is equal to like this. Okay, now you try to print it on the console. I simply say console.log num. Let's see what happens. Okay, if you try to run it. Here you are getting an error. It's saying assignment to constant variable. Why? 
If this is constant, it means now, now I cannot <coughs> change the value of this particular because constant is used to, is used to provide the constant values. So now I I cannot change the value. I cannot make it to blank. So that's why instead of const, I'll be using let over here. Okay. So instead of const, I'll be using let's see let over here, and then you try and run it again. Okay. And then you see I'm getting a blank array. So it will create a blank array. So this is how we have to empty an array, remove all the elements from the array. You can see that now this number is totally blank. Array. This is the first way. Okay. Let me come in. This is the first way. Second way is you can simply uh, use <coughs> using using length. How do you how do you use it? You simply write number dot okay, number dot length is equal to zero now, and then you print console dot log. Okay, num once again over here. Let's see. You run it again. You see. Again, blank. This is very simple, very straightforward. Make it number dot length equal to zero, and then you will simply get a blank array. Okay, so I would always recommend this guy and the first guy, right? But what is the problem with the first first case, right? So how exactly the problem is? Let's see. Tomorrow you have. Let me comment uh, this guy. Let's talk about the first case once again. Tomorrow, let's see. You have another variable. Let's see another array is equal to which is pointing to num, right? Which is pointing to num. So num, okay. The same object is referred by another also. It means another is also having the same value. So if you try to print, let's see, uh, console dot log num, and the next line, if you write console dot log another, now see it carefully. What will happen? You simply write. See, it's just a copy of num and other. It will be created. So, what exactly the values are available inside the num? Same values will be given to another, and then it will be given to this guy. Now, if you make number like this in between, if you let's see, you make number is equal to the with the first approach. If you write it like this, number is equal to blank, <coughs> right? Number equal to blank. Now you see this number. Will be blank, but what about another? You see, the number got blank, but another is still there. Remember, so that's the problem with the first approach. The first approach you will only use when you have only one single reference. You are not making a copy of, okay? You are not assigning to some other reference. It means no other reference is having the reference on this particular array object. Then you can use the first approach, number equal to blank, like this. You can simply write it. But if the copy has been given to another, and if you are making number equal to blank, another will still remain same. So you have to write another equal to blank once again to make it blank, right? So it doesn't mean that okay, if number equal to blank, it will make another also will be blank. No, it's not like that. So that's a that's a small problem with the first approach. So better to use the second approach. You simply write number dot length equal to zero, and the entire thing will be removed over there, right? Okay, so uh. I'll just comment these guys once again. I don't want to. Okay. Now there is one more way you can do that. The third way is using the splice. Okay, not splice. Sorry, using the splice method you can do that. Using splice, how will you do that? Splice, as I told you, is also used to delete the numbers and also used to add the numbers. So you simply write number dot splice. Okay. From where you want to start? I want to start from zero up to the length of the array. So the length of the array is simple, right? Number dot length, <laughs> simple. And then you print number once again on the console. And let's see. See again, we are getting a blank array. So right, splice method is also used to remove the element starting from zero, and we have to give a range up to the length of the array. So all the values will be empty now. So this is the third way you can do that. Fourth way is, so I don't want to just comment it out. The fourth one is using the pop method, right? Using pop method also you can do that. Remember, pop method we just I have already shown you. Pop method is used to remove the 
remove the element from the end of the array. So what exactly I'll do, I'll create a while loop over here. Okay, I'll simply write while my number dot length is greater than zero, to start my while loop. And what do you want? You simply write number dot keep popping. Okay, from the end of the element. <coughs> okay, so from the end of the array, you just keep popping until the length is zero, right? So I let's see. I'll print this console dot log once again. Let's see what exactly we are getting. See again, we are getting empty array. But what is the best way? The best way, guys, I'll tell you. I would never prefer <coughs> fourth. Fourth is quite lengthy. If you have, let's say, millions of records are available in your array, in that case, it will be a problem because it will keep checking in your while loop. And then <clears throat> this, it will keep popping millions of times again and again. So it will drastically, okay, impact your performance of the code. So I will never use this, okay? But for interview point of view, you can explain like that. Second, also, I can simply use it, the splice method, but again, it is a little noisy. I would always prefer that, okay, the second one is very straightforward, simple make the uh, length of the array is equal to zero and then that's it and and the first is also uh, okay quite useful but only condition is that make sure this number is not getting referred by some other reference also in that case okay if it is not there i can use this blank array concept also over here. right simple so this is about right this is about we have to remove the array and make the empty array from the existing array like that, you can simply do that. Okay, so uh, that's all for this particular video. In the next video, I'll tell you what do you mean by combining the array and slicing the array. Very small concept. I don't want to cover in the same. You please practice with this. Okay, uh, remove the specific element and then empty. Okay, uh, from a specific element. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching this video.